Hey y'all, hope you're doing well, staying sane, um, finding ways to be creative, maybe doing some things you wanted to do and never had time to do because you're always busy working. And hopefully everybody's figuring out how to make ends meet or help each other out to make ends meet. Um, yeah, okay. So another little uh, tutorial on integrated pest management. So this is the time of year when it's a, it's a great time of year to actually apply pesticides, systemic pesticides. It is a terrible time of year. And I'm seeing um, a lot of homeowners working in their yards right now, applying what I assume are herbicides on flowering, like things like flowering dandelion, and also probably spraying, starting to spray for insecticides as well. If only I didn't need to know exactly where I'm going. Anyway, um, it's a terrible time because the pollinators are out and pollinating. So those herbicides and pesticides that you're spraying onto those plants are doing damage to those pollinators. And that means damage essentially to your lawn later on. You can apply as a topical solution, pretty much just straight ammonia uh, and spray right onto your the weeds that you don't want around and it will essentially burn them. It's better to apply in a dry day, which where I'm at right now, I, there hasn't been one for over a week. But if you can apply during the dry weather, and my map's going to go off again here soon, sorry about that, um, and sunny days, it will work better. You will need to reapply it uh, every week for probably three to four weeks. A little bit of labor, but one, it's cheaper than the chemistry that you're going to buy at the big box store or your local hardware store, which is probably not open. And two, uh, you definitely need to wear a mask and gloves because we're talking about ammonia. You want to apply it with a little bit of, um, like, couple tablespoons per gallon of like an olive oil or canola oil, canola oil, the cheapest oil you can find. Oh, hello, I'm south. here. I Hi. West exit and um, that will help it stick to the plant longer and do more damage. Okay, so the recipe is for two gallons, I apply a half a gallon per two gallons of um, ammonia Take with two tablespoons two tablespoons of vegetable oil, spray on the plant in the beginning of the day on what's going to be a hot sunny day, or at least a, at least a sunny day, and then re do that reapplication on your weeds for the next four weeks, all right? That is the way to keep your pollinators healthy and your weeds at bay. Later on, when there's no flowering and things have started to, to seed set, that's when you can apply your very strong herbicides, or even better yet, apply some pre-emergence um, during the fall and winter when the pollinators are not active. The other thing that I'd like to recommend is do not do a, um, a drench. So if you've got an arborist coming out to do a systemic insecticide, which are terrific, gives your trees or your shrubs a long you know, year to three years of protection, especially important for the emerald ash board and the, the woolly adelgid. If at all possible, which may not be for the adelgid, do not let them apply it as a drench. Spend the extra money this time of year to apply it as an injection. It gets injected directly into the, the buttress or the buttressed roots of the, the base of the trunk of the tree. And then that you are ensuring that that insecticide is going just into that tree. You want to make sure the tree is not flowering or not going to be flowering soon. So the injection is after flowering. Because if you do it as a drench around that tree and you've got a bunch of like flowering weeds like Lamy and Purpurium or you've got violets. Two miles, use the right two lanes to take the I-75 south, I-40 west exit toward Nashville and Chattanooga. Then again that drench is going to get all of those flowering plants in that grass or weedy or flower bed, whatever is surrounding that tree, they're all going to uptake that insecticide as well. And again, you'll be poisoning your pollinators. I know this has been interrupted a lot by my Google Maps, so if you have any questions, please contact me at betternature.solutions, that's www.betternature.solutions, or on my Facebook page or Instagram.